Okay. You really got the golden opportunity now, ass man. Fucking a teacher? No one is expecting us to complete that one. It's too good to be true. Yeah, I suggested some private courses and she said that she would look into it. The difficult part will be getting the proof. Just grab your phone as you fuck her and then you get out of there. <laughs> I mean, this is just about the pledge board, right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to make things awkward though. And if she sees that we're doing that, there might be trouble then. There might be trouble then doing it without her noticing. How about something else, like taking a photo through a pair of binoculars? What the fuck? That's gonna be too tricky, and it depends on where, you, where you're fucking <laughs> to. <laughs> Maybe at her place, but her husband's gonna be a problem. Maybe a hotel? Yeah, maybe. We can think of the details if she suggests it. If she suggests it? We don't have a lot of time just to sit and sit around and wait for her to do it. You've got to show her that you want her. That's the only way to make it work. Be more forward with her, and the next time you see her, make sure you ask her up front to bang her. <laughs> Look at that pledge board. It feels like we've done a lot. Um, I wonder who's going to do the have sex outdoors. But we've barely made a dent. Just the gay guard catcher, the stripper signature, and the prank. There are only three days to go. Don't be like that. We're well on our way with several of those tasks. Wanna wear the helmet? Uh, I don't remember the last time we wore it. Um, yeah. Yeah, give it here. It's my turn. Alright, I'm off to find someone to bang. What will you be up to? I'm gonna pay Jill another visit. I owe her something. Excuse me. Yes. I'm wondering if we would I'm wondering if you would let me in. I'm here to see Jill. Does she know that you're coming? No, it's more of a surprise visit. Sorry, we don't do those here. You can call her and have her tell me to open the gates for you. I don't have her number. What's this? Good evening, sir. There's an unannounced visitor for Mrs. Jill. Shush, this boy cannot be allowed to enter this premises. With the burglary and all, we have to be string stringent? Stringent? And that thing on his head should have been your first clue on what to do. <laughs> Sorry, sir. You heard him. No entrance allowed. Please step away from the gates. I wonder if that's different if I chose not to do that. The dialogue will be... He won't say that. I'm guessing so. I'm not giving up that easily. Okay, let's do this again. I can't climb up the pillars with the guitar this time. I better find another another way inside. Get to Jill's room. It's a pretty standard dorm for this mansion. The furniture is included in the rent, but you may decorate your own room as you wish. The preps are in there. I have to find another way through. Ooh, ooh. Can we knock him out? Is she going to be okay? What about mom? She must be devastated. If I go that way now, I will get caught. Okay. And this is where things get wild. I had this bar built last year after an incident at the local pub. To make a long story short, they are running out of olives ruined my evening. Shit, they moved into this room now. Ooh. I can, can, I can try to go back out through this window. It's unlocked. Looks like they all left. I can go through here now. Okay, now's my chance. Let's go for it. Yep, I'm going for it. Andrew, what are you doing here? I wanted to see you, but I didn't have your number, so I had to improvise. I'm surprised they let you in. Ah, uh, be honest with her. <laughs> they didn't. I had to climb the walls. You can't do that. I'm sorry, but what choice did I have? to scream until you heard me? You could have asked the security guard to call me. Tybalt told him not to not let me talk. Oh my god, I can't do this. Tybalt told him to not let me in. Well, we've recently had a break in, so security is on high alert. Come on in. You brought your guitar? Yes, sit down and just listen. But why? I'm making things up to you. For being a jerk yesterday and also for walking in on you playing the piano. 
I noticed how weird it felt when you realized that I heard you play, so I thought I could even things out for us. Okay. Now we're even. Can <laughs> you imagine? I just play like three seconds. Like, alright, now we're done. <laughs> that was a very personal song I just played for you. You're really talented. I loved it. You know, that's Bella's favorite song. Oh yeah, I forgot. She told me that. Do you play any classical music? No, the fingering in those songs is very tricky for me. Didn't they teach you that in class? I never took any music classes. I learned everything I know on my own. Then it's even more impressive. And yes, we're even. Great, because I, I would love to hear you play again. You what? I haven't been able to get that melody you played off my mind. Alright, let's go to the West Wing. My piano is there. Rich ass. This is your piano? Yes, my dad bought it for my 10th birthday. Imagine that shit. It's a beautiful instrument. What a song. Did you ever learn to read sheet music? I know the basics, but I can't figure it out while playing. So I'm not uh, fluent, or what you call it. Take a look and see if you understand something while I play them. I should be fine without it for this song. No, this isn't going way too fast for me. This is going way too fast for me. And I can't really focus standing this close to her. Just don't risk it. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Can you see them? Uh, what? I still got distracted. The notes I'm playing. Yeah, but I don't quite understand where you are in the song. Would you mind if I snapped a photo of the sheet just so I can study it later? Please, go ahead. She got the eyes closed too? It's a beautiful song. The melody really sticks with you. I was thinking, since you practice in the auditorium before and, and not in here, are you reciting for a performance or something? You're sharp. Which is weird considering what you're wearing right now. <laughs> yes, once in a while the campus has concerts in the auditorium. I've been invited to perform in one of them. And I'm a bit nervous and really like to be prepared, so... You're already practicing like crazy, huh? Yes, I don't do big audiences. It's been a big, it's been a dream of mine to do it, but my nerves. I'm not a performer. Uh, just... <laughs> That's it. That's why you acted strange when I saw you play. It really was a wonderful song. Thank you. I think so too. I think you can do it. Just keep practicing until you're confident. You think? Hey, I can be your audience. I'd love to hear you play more. It's the first time I've had the luxury to hear great piano music up close. What did you do to make Bella, Bella come around? Mm, nothing? Wait, she came around? She did. What did you tell her? I, uh, have no idea, really. I thought she didn't like me that much. Well, you're wrong. She told me to give you a chance. She does like you. And I think you're... You're an absolute madman, Rich. That's another perfect challenge for our new protégés. One bottle of champagne and a beer glass is coming right. Huh? <laughs> Jill? How did this boy get past the gates? Rich, call for security. Tybalt, wait. He's my guest and he's free to come here whenever he wants to. I beg your pardon? Joe, please. This student has no business in the mansion. Look at his rags. You call those clothes? Damn this boy. And that absolutely atrocious piece of attire he wears on his head. <laughs> Damn, I shouldn't have worn this, man. Everybody's just hating. <laughs> he's my guest and you will treat him with respect. I was just leaving. Good. Get security to show this boy out. We cannot take any risks after the burglary. Thank you for the music. It was nice. No, not like this. Oh. Jill, would you like to go out on a date with me? 
I would love to get I would love to get to know you better. Yes, I love that. Okay. Hey. Hey. Maybe I could get your number so we can avoid this situation in the future. Bye. Let's be a chick. Ty will always a pleasure. Why was it? Why was it that I asked her out like that? Because of Tybalt? I think because of Jill. I think I'm really interested in Jill. It makes it a bit difficult for me, but I'm going to give Jill an honest chance. Bella came around and recommended me to Jill. I could go see Bella. Okay, let's go see her. Huh? Mm, no. Stop thinking about it already. Excuse me, miss. What? And it's Mrs. Ah, I'm looking for class literature for my analytical chemistry class. Looking for it, huh? Is that why you came up to me immediately upon entry? You're a student. Learn to use the fucking computer and search for it yourself. Damn! What's going off? I can't... <clears throat> I can't lash out at students like that. I did the right thing. This was for Jill. Married women don't fool around with young students. Oh, she's contemplating the boy. Oh, okay, okay. They aren't intimate with friends either, but that, that was different. It doesn't matter, I've stopped it. Please, James, forgive me. What's her husband? Just come home again gone? It's been long enough now. What you just witnessed was the bad temper of the Ice Queen. Why is she called the Ice Queen? Hmm? Oh, the new pledge doesn't play Dungeons and Gremlins? That's almost grounds for rejection. We call her the Ice Queen because she, because much like in Dungeons and Gremlins, she protects the great treasure, this library. But moreover, she has a heart made of ice, completely devoid of love, and doesn't show any sympathy to intruders. Is that so? <laughs> oh, Isabella, uh, 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 listen here, you nerdy little shit. <laughs> get the fuck out of my dungeon before I shove one of my treasures up your ass. All of you, get out. It's closing time. <laughs> Magnar fought the beast and lived to tell his tale. Leave, you insolent fool. Wow, fine. <laughs> I'm wearing the helmet. <laughs> Andrew? Yeah, is something wrong, Isabella? No. I was just closing, that's all. Need any help? No. Just let me help. Okay, you can help me by putting books back into their shelves. Is it okay if I speak up a bit? I know it's a library, but I wanted to have a word with you. Go ahead. I just talked to Jill. Okay. I asked her out on a date. Good. I don't think I would have done it if it weren't for you. Why not? When did you come around about me? Huh? Do you like me now? Hey, does she? Don't be... Jesus! <laughs> Do you? I don't like you. I tolerate you. That's not what Jill said. Jill tends to em embellish. Even so, I, uh, I tolerate you too, Isabella. It's Bella. Oh, okay. The music playing, you know something's about to happen. There's just something about her. Stop. I've told you that I'm married. Why are you trying this again? Why won't you listen? Look at you right now. You're telling me to stop, but you're the one pulling us closer. Ooh, hey, hey, <laughs> hey, okay. Damn, you just lifted her ass up. <laughs> okay. I, no, no, I can't. Damn, that weird ass haircut we have. I can't. 
but you want to. But I can't. Oh, she crying? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, you better get up off of her then. Shit. I can't. At the time, I couldn't understand Bella. The attraction was there, but for her, it felt so wrong. I remember feeling bad about kissing a married woman. I figured she had, she felt the same since she was being unfaithful to her husband. Which, of course, is a very big deal. But if I had known the real reasons to her tears and to her persona, I wouldn't have kissed her that night. I would have called out for help. This is crazy! Oh man, so we got... I was, I was, I'll say it all at the end. That's our dorm. Who's that man? Who the fuck is that? I recognize him from somewhere. Hey, Maya. <coughs> Ooh, hi. Say, who was that man leaving our dorm? That was my dad. Oh, shit. You see? Oh, I thought I recognized him. Why was he here? You know, just checking up on me. Did you drink your beer yet? No, I still have five left today. Get to it then. Okay, let's do this. Go. Are you drunk? Ooh. It's exciting, huh? <laughs> Drinking beer? Yeah. I'm just getting my spirit up to be able to down some spirits. That's clever, but beer's not a spirit, I think. That doesn't matter. You're really going at it. I have to. Ten a day. That's the minimum. Is it smart doing them all at once like that? Nothing is smart about me this week, Maya. <laughs> at least you seem to enjoy it. I'm glad. You know what? I think I am. Maybe not the crazy parts, but overall it's pretty fun time. It's pretty fun times. Don't overdo it. Overdo it tonight. Now we finally got a free room. Right. Damn, that's crazy. So we got Jill. We're talking to Isabella. She's coming around. I got Maya, maybe. You know, we fooled with her. Oh, who's the other? Josie and ah, I was a redhead girl uh, Sage we got Sage too but I'm not really feeling Sage I think Isabella I'm really looking looking at like her I want to get more I want to know about her more like her story but oh hey it's me I'm just testing if the number works it works. Thank you for the music earlier. I really enjoyed it. Thank, thank you, too. I'm sorry it ended abruptly. Tybalt is a bit overprotective. If overprotective means he's a dick, then I agree. We'll make up for it. Yeah, we'll make up for it. Let's do something far away from the mansion. Deal. I'll try to come up with something to do. I'm going to tuck in for the night. Good night. Hey! Hey! Can't send her a selfie. Okay. All right. So I checked everything. I responded to Jill. I don't know how much I cut, honestly. I responded to Jill. Uh, I did all the brawler. Uh, Four dollars, thirty-one out of eighty-two. We haven't failed a single class yet. That's pretty fucking impressive. Um, I checked all the bios. Where's the bio? I checked all the bios of everybody, like all the updated. Um, I think I studied. Yeah. I guess we finish. Stay with. Oh, hey, go to Quinn's. I don't really like Quinn though. I'll be honest. Yeah, I don't really like her. I'm gonna stay with Maya. Hey, what? Such a dude. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Brother walks in. Maya, you here? Yeah, I'm here. Ask me, can I have a word with my sis? Sure. You want me to wait outside, or... Would you? Of course. What's taking them so long? Hey, we're done. Pass the helmet. What was that about? Sorry, family stuff. See you tomorrow, ass man. Oh, she looked troubled now. A lot of family visits today, huh? 
does your offer still stand, you know, about helping me? Hey. Hey. Yeah, just like I said, I'll help you. We can figure this out together. Right? It's just a couple of weeks of this, and then it will be all over. After that, they can force me to do things, right? After that, they can't force me to do things, right? No one can force you to do anything, but I know what you mean. Just like dicks seem to be all friends, at least from the outside. I think that's the case for hots, too. Yes, so if I just pass these stupid tests, I should be okay after, I hope. You know, I'll help you with the tests. I'm very creative. If we get Derek's help as well, I think we can make it work. That's what I've been thinking about, that I need your help with this. And aside from Derek, you're the only one here I can really trust. All of this doesn't have to be this hard, you know. But please know, this is not just me using you. I mean, I do need your help, but, that's, but it's not only because of that. Yeah, she liked a boy. I have decided that I wanted to- Hey! Hey! Let's start thinking about this together. We could use the helmet to fake some of the tasks, maybe. I don't think you're quite- you quite understand what I'm getting at. Yeah, she's- yeah, I don't? Oh. Yeah. I can't find the right words to ask for something like this. I understand what you're asking, Maya. What parts of the list- what parts of the list do you want me to help you with? All of them. Okay, alright. You and me. We take it slow. But we do all of them. I was on the list, right? It was, but this right now, it's just me. Okay. 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 <laughs> How do you feel? <coughs> How do you feel? A bit jittery. I am, yeah. Me too. I hate to be pragmatic with this. What does that mean? You know, practical. But what if we try to do as many things as possible right now? Shit. Then this will be... Then this will all be over. We just rip our whole fucking outfit off like a whole one-piece suit. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do this? It doesn't sound like it right... It doesn't sound like it right now. I just meant that if we do all those things right now, there won't be this whole forced feeling about it. Remind me, what do we want to... What do you want to do? Hey. We could do all that right now. I mean, I... I they will have to wait. Don't worry, we'll figure it out. What about your list? Anything that works for you? You're a feminist, so that's one. And public sex, I've got that one too. You, would, you wouldn't happen to be a teacher, would you? <laughs> no. And I don't suppose you could slap me in my face during this. I was just pimp smacked us. <laughs> I should have been more. I should have been clearer. I need photo proof on that one. <laughs> Wait, I totally forgot about that too. I also need proof. How the hell will this work? Do you have to show it to everyone? With the other things I've done this far, I've just given them a, or showed a photos. Fuck, I'm messing all up. With the other things I've done this far, I've just given them or showed a photo of it to Quinn. Oh no, not Quinn. She's my mother. What can I do? I don't trust her one bit. Okay, I feel we're overthinking this. I'll put my phone to record a video and then we'll edit. I'll edit it. We'll have to think about all of the all this a bit extra afterwards. Trust me, I'm not gonna let this video get out in the open. <laughs> okay. But now that I've gotten the courage to go through with it, there is no way in hell that I'm stopping. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I think we did a lot with Maya just now that I just cut. <laughs> But she helped us out. We helped her out. And, you know, I don't know. It's just, it is what it is, right? So now. <clears throat> Maya, I'm curious. What really made you change your mind about all this? Yesterday, it seemed like you were going to survive college without the help from the hots. After today, I just know what I have to do. What? 
No matter the tasks on that list, I'm doing them. Did Derek tell you that? No, but he confirmed something that I've been thinking for a while now, which is that I can't trust my dad's lies. Damn, she dropped, dropping all this just after what we did? So that wasn't a happy visit from your dad before? I'm lost. You'll have to tell me everything. 100%, remember? Alright. There's something I haven't told you. Oh. Because I wasn't sure of how you'd react or how to approach the subject. I kind of tried telling you this before, even though I wasn't ever going to tell this to anyone here. But it's better if you know this, for both of us. It started as the reason why I needed that money. But thanks to Derek, and now even you, I realized that I need it for an even bigger reason. Just tell me, what are the reasons? <gasps> Doors are funny. Be it metal or be it wood, they're made to do the same things. To keep you safe or secluded. And to protect the things you value. Protect you from whatever is on the other side. Or worse. What the fuck's about to happen, bro? <laughs> They are made to keep things on the inside, things you don't want anyone else to see, locked away. It's weird to think that something so simple as a knock, often repeated three times, is all it takes to get someone to open that door. Curiosity takes over and it exposes you. Some doors are meant to stay closed, because opening them? Yeah? Who's that, Quinn? Daw, we need to talk. That's Bella. What the what the fuck's going on? What? Not like this. <gasps> bro, is it her dad? Oh, bro, her dad's gonna walk in. We're gonna be butt naked on the... <laughs> We're gonna be booty naked. What are you doing here? It's gotta be her dad. May change everything. Come in. Uh, Andrew? Oh, shit. This is my... Girlfriend. Girlfriend? <gasps> Yo! <laughs> what? No fucking. <laughs> oh, hell no, bro. What the fuck? That's crazy. I hope I'm still recording. I fucking. <laughs> I knocked over my mouse. Josie? Oh, it makes so much sense, though. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I remember Josie's ass was like saying, yeah, I gotta tell you, you know, the person I'm with is at college. And I thought it was like a boyfriend. I took, nah, bro, what? Girlfriend? This is my girlfriend? Oh, shit. Hey, look at Josie. That's crazy. <laughs> About to start swinging? What's going on? <laughs> Oh my god. I gotta stop it here, man. I gotta stop it here. That's that's a crazy